when when scientists set up an experiment, the way that they test their hypothesis is by having a variable. And so let's just start off with an example hypothesis. Let's say that I think that my houseplant will grow more if I give it a half cup of energy drink every day. In my experiment, I will have one houseplant where nothing changes. So both of these houseplants will be exactly the same temperature and they'll get the same amount of sunlight, but there'll be one difference and that is called a variable. And so this plant over here would be the variable group and this plant over here will be the control group. And the one thing that we're gonna change in this experiment is I'm gonna see if giving my plant a half a cup of energy drink every day will make it grow more. So here is my energy drink can and there's some energy drink. The energy drink that we are giving to this plant, we would call the independent variable because that's the variable that we're controlling. Independent. The independent variable And the dependent variable in this case is the plant's growth. So let's just, let's just say growth. I'll switch colors here. All right, so the dependent variable Dependent variable is how much the plant is growing growth. All right, so there you have it. We have a control group where nothing has changed, a variable group where we're only changing one thing, the energy drink. The energy drink itself is called the independent variable because the independent variable is something that the scientist is controlling. And the dependent variable, how much the plant grows, is called the dependent variable because it depends on the independent variable or the energy drink.